Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, you know what? You're not allowed to criticize Netflix Shira. Want to bet? At all. Want to bet? Okay, so Geeky's Geeky wanted to do this video. We're gonna talk about. Well, clearly they wanted more after last video. Yeah, so we're gonna talk about this. This is a very interesting development that has has happened only in the last year, I think, since the show debuted because we did a lot of Shira videos before. Right. And we got some people who were like, yeah, you know, whatever, go suck an egg. Um, well, no, mostly what, what happened to me that made me so angry, and this going back even further a year and a half ago, was the fact that when they showed the designs in that summer, um, people didn't like them. They're like, what is, what's this? You know, because mm -hmm. it was so, you know, and, and immediately... You weren't allowed to not like the designs. If you didn't like the designs, there was clearly something wrong with you because they were the best thing ever because they said so. Yeah, and the media basically uh, started attacking old school Shira well, and Hemet. Yeah, just yeah, not the fans, yeah. the show. The, yeah, it the, was the show campy. Itself. It was eighties. It was you know terrible. I'm sorry, the show is just as campy, and it keeps getting campier and everything else. So you can't you can't tell me. Um, I do think Catcher's better. Yeah, I do like Entrapped quite a bit. Which we've said, we've said. I I, I actually like, I don't actually hate the design on Hordak, and I like the design on Shadow Weaver quite a bit. Um, the character designs. But you wouldn't know that if you listened to or read the comments on particularly the last video. Um, so we're going to talk about that. Before we get into the video, if you're new to the channel and you like the content, please subscribe. We're, we're hoping to hit 100,000 soon. We're at almost 70,000. Thank you uh, for that. We cover general pop culture. I give our hot takes on, on cartoons and on uh, cover Disney. News and, and stuff. Yeah, so uh, we're just kind of all over the place with what we cover. Shiro we cover because it is a 1980s property. Both because of us, I love it. Yeah. Yeah, Geeky loves it. We grew up in the 80s. We grew up with the original Shira and uh, He-Man. And this version of Shira is very, very different from the original. Uh, and it's got its fans, you know. But I think the Shira fandom, I'm going to be honest, I think there's, they've sort of taken a turn into Steven Universe fandom mm -hmm. territory lately. Yeah. Uh, we did have some people early on that were like, well, your opinions are garbage. I'm not going to listen. That's fine. We agree to disagree. We always say you're allowed to like it. You're allowed not to like it. Right. But that's not see, We say that. But their opinion is, if you don't like it, you're some kind of insert name because their answer to everything is bully the shit out of people. Yeah. To, to, you know, because you don't like it, you have to be bullied. But you, they don't like intolerance unless they're the ones being intolerant. So this is this is what this is what happened last time. We we actually and uh, I had postulated that Shira had, was either going to be canceled or had wrapped production based on the fact that the character designer was looking it for work. It still could have wrapped production. It doesn't mean right. it was canceled. It just meant they already finished Well, it, it. meant that they were done. It right. meant they were done. And um, I did, did tell you I didn't think it was canceled. Yeah, but, but it, whatever they were working on, it was done. It seemed very clear that they were done. Uh, so when they announced season four, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do the right thing and I'm going to come back. I'm going to uh, post a video and say, you know what, guys? There is a season four after all. Mm -hmm. You know, because that would be the mm -hmm. right thing to do, which I did. Uh, but we were also very surprised that they they chose to um, go the direction they went with Double Trouble. Not because Double Trouble is non-binary. That has nothing to do with it. But because Double Trouble is it's a, a lizard thing. Is a lizard thing. Um, so because we referred to Double Trouble uh, as an it because it was an alien lizard, we right. weren't exactly sure what to make of Double Trouble. We got all kinds of hate from Tumblr and Twitter. But and it's it, okay because it's just Boosted us up more. We actually so made. Thank you for that. Yeah, thank you for that. We actually made quite a bit of money off that video, so we're gonna do. We thought, one. well, no one cares anymore, <laughs> and we're not gonna do these videos anymore. But because Shira of the, the amazing response, <laughs> I will make sure to continue doing Shira videos. So we had some people uh, make us aware of the fact that, that they were going out to Instagram and Tumblr and Twitter and telling people to deliberately come downvote our video because. Let me get this straight. Let me get this straight because we accidentally misgendered a fictitious cartoon lizard alien. Mm -hmm. That was the problem. Really, the problem was we weren't on board with the show. We never really have been, but whatever. You're allowed to like it. Which we um, keep saying. Right, but you're not allowed to dislike it. No, that. I say you can like and not like things. They say you have to like it or they make fun of you, call you names, and go to Instagram and try to get your videos downvoted because they can't take criticism. Like I said, the Shira fandom has definitely uh, taken a hard turn into Steven Universe mm -hmm. uh, fandom. Uh, I think the two fandoms definitely overlap. And again, I like Steven Universe. I've watched Steven mm -hmm. Universe before. I've said before that I've watched the show. You know, it is what it is. Uh, don't have a problem with it. But I'm, I can't lie. The fandom is, 
is uh, batshit crazy. Batshit crazy. Thank mm. you. That's the term I'm not looking for. Not all of them. But not the, all of them. The most vocal right. ones are. And that's how it always uh, goes. Batshit you know, crazy. Do you think? Do, are there bad fans like for Star Wars and stuff that you know bully people? Yes. Absolutely. Are they the majority? No. And I think that's the case here. Are there fans um, of it that, that don't behave that way? Of course there are. Are they the majority? No. Are, are the people that are bad the majority? No. But. Uh, and it's not funny because in previous videos, we've actually gone out of our way and re-recorded segments if we made sure that the pronouns were correct. And we've told our people on Discord and stuff to respect pronouns. So because we called a, a lizard creature it, because it wasn't about the gender, it was about it, what what the heck is that thing. Um, oh my God. So you know what? Don't care. It's still a, a, a thing. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Um, it has nothing to do with the voice person. It has nothing to do with the the... the, the, the <laughs> Sexual identity of the character. I don't care. That's not double trouble. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. It is a lizard monster. Yes. Yeah, so um, just to, just to, just to back the bus up here a little bit. So this this whole thing with attacking the old school Shira fans this has been going on for a while. It actually got so bad. It was going on as soon as they released the character design. Oh yeah, yeah. And, and just a refresher here. If you're not familiar with the original Double Trouble. Um, Double Trouble was a she. Double Trouble was actually supposed to be Glimmer's cousin. Mm -hmm. and, and she, it, and she was, was in the comics. She, she wasn't in the show. Right. She was in the comics. She was my, my favorite toys. I She was one of the ones I had. I loved her. I have another one of her. That was one of my favorites. I just loved her because she could, you know, change, you know, and stuff. Yeah. Because she was supposed to be like a, a you know, double a double agent type thing. That's double trouble. Um. Anyway, continue. Yeah. Well, you know, because... You know, Shira and He-Man, they always had sort of the uh, the one-to-one -one characters and, mm -hmm. and uh, Double Trouble. The original Double Trouble was basically the She-Ra equivalent of Manny Faces. Right. You know, you turn the head. That was that was Mattel's trick. They had other dolls like that that were creepy. And then you leave the face like half turned and they look like they have two heads and it, it's yeah, really, really creepy. Um, so, but it got so bad at one point that Melanie Britt, who was the voice of the original She-Ra, had to step in and tell people to back off mm -hmm. uh, because there was so much hatred and vitriol being thrown at old school fans just because they did not like the new, uh, design. The new version of the show. What well, was even the show at that point? It was just the character design. It was simply the character designs. And that was what was causing all this problem. Right. And this is, uh, this is what she had to say. And I'm going to, I'm going to say this again because this needs to be restated. This is coming from Melody Britt, uh, who, worked on at the time a very progressive show she herself is very progressive yeah she was actually always a progressive show it wasn't just invented like the last couple of years you know it always was so this this article uh was out on movie viral last year talking about this and she actually gave us a shout out which thank you for that melody if you're listening um but this is what she said because i think we need to remind people <laughs> to to uh, uh, you know how how bad the marketing with this has been, mm -hmm. which is I think what Mr. Mad about is the marketing. The marketing, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, this is Melody Britt, original Shira. I know I may be taking a chance posting and commenting on this, but my heart has been hurting about the comments some marketing people mm -hmm. and publicity machines are bombarding the internet with regarding some fans of the original Shira. I'm series. gonna stop right there. I think the biggest part of why people are upset was because initially when they didn't like the design, they could just said in passing, "Oh, I don't like that." They were immediately called names, misogynist, racist, sexist, whatever. You just, you just did a fat to Shira. I mean, it was like, but you, you, you weren't allowed to not like it without being insulted and bullied. You were bullied immediately if you didn't like it. Whether you might have had a good reason for it, whether it had nothing to do with the fact that you, you whether you're a man or woman, didn't matter. You're automatically misogynist, didn't matter. Um, and the and the media and the PR took to that, and that's what, that's how they spun everything. She the original Shira sucks. New Shira is great because the original Shira everybody doesn't like it. There those misogynist trolls on the internet didn't like it. That was their that was they attacked immediately, and because of that, I think they caused their own backlash. People who might have given the show a chance wouldn't even give the show a chance because of the way they behaved. I actually watched every season. I didn't care for it. and i've made comments saying that you know oh i think the last season they did a better job because the writing was tighter and i've made many comments where i've said i don't like this but i think they did better here I, i've always have i not always been like that yeah you've actually given this show a chance i'm like i watched part of a season i'm like yeah obviously not for me i'm out yeah you know <laughs> so but people who might have given the show a chance didn't give the show a chance right from the get-go because immediately they were they were trolled for not liking the yeah. design and then they had voice actors make comments where they were kind of trolling the old actors 
Yeah, and Marcus Scribner, I lost a, you know, and I, I think he's a decent actor, but I lost a hell of a lot of respect for him because he was making fun of the uh, the original actor of Bo. I'm yeah, like, dude, who, who passed throat. away. Yeah, who, yeah, he passed away. He also did the voice of Hordak in the original, and he threw all kinds of shade at New York Comic Con. And that's what we're talking about here, and that's what Melanie Britt is talking about, is this, this really dubious marketing mm -hmm. uh, campaign. And even when Larry Dottilio, who actually is the father, one of the fathers of She-Ra, passed away, they said nothing about it until they used it to promote their was it the second season at that point or third season i can't remember but when they used it to, they used it for season to two i think to promote a season of the show yeah learned detilio died when they were actually uh at a convention doing a shira panel and nobody not even the official twitter account said anything uh, about his passing, and he was the co-creator of Shira, along and with. And it went uh, weeks until they said something when they released the next season. They yeah, they waited until they released the next season to, to say anything about Detilio's passing. It was, it was it was not cool. Which I, I thought was disgusting. I thought really was disgusting. Melody Britt, who worked on the original show, uh, has not been a fan of the marketing, and I think really that's ninety percent of the problem. Uh, no, I do think. I think people might have given the show a chance, and they're they're trying to make it out that it's because of gender politics or whatever. I don't think that's the problem most people have with it. I think the problem most people have with it is because they're told flat out if they don't like it yeah they're this that and whatever else um and i mean i don't like it i mean i've watched it i, I can find some positive aspects of it i've mentioned the positive aspects. i think catra actually is a better version of catra than the original i will give it that um i think i like entrapped i think they did a lot more with her and i like that um uh, they tightened up their story their, their scripting on the, the third season but it looks like they're going back to that again for the fourth where they're all over the place again um, and I gave him credit for that. But do I like the show? No, I don't like the show. I think it it, it was very juvenile. Um, I, they, now they did they did get away from that in later seasons. But um, I, I I just think it's funny because for all the shade and the and the, the critiques they're throwing at it, they're doing the exact same thing. And I'm sorry, I'll say it again. Because it deeper character, deeper character, deeper character. Well, I'll give you Catra is definitely a deeper character. Yeah. However, not all the characters are deeper. Just because they are suddenly have a label associated with them doesn't mean that they suddenly become a deeper character for it. it that, that's not how it works. And I'm going to keep saying that because that's the truth. Yeah, and it's just very disingenuous the, the way this whole thing's been marketed. But um, they are, you're not allowed to criticize the show. You're not. You're not allowed to criticize it at all. The, the media outlets will mock you. Uh, the fans will mock you and uh you know it's i mean it's pretty bad when shira herself has to step in mm -hmm. but you can go ahead and say what else she said I'm yeah sorry i got sidetracked so this is melody bray again um saying that and this is before larry dottilio died oh and this is before this is before the show came out this is just based on the, i think on the uh the the way the media was behaving to the fans who didn't like the design yeah so i'm i'm glad in this published article someone finally has said enough to the kind of divisive marketing and negative publicity that has been promoted regarding the fact that some people might actually prefer the original series. It's a big world and there's enough room for many cartoons. You're allowed to like it, you're allowed not to like it, which I said repeatedly. We have said that. But because the Shira name is being used to do a new series, I believe you must respect the admiration of fans of the original and not because you have the power of marketing or an ego trip, put them into categories that denigrate their character and insinuate that if they prefer the original, something is wrong with them. That has been the whole push. Yep. In meeting thousands of fans, I've never come across any person who did not have a great heart and genuine love for the integrity and pure intention of the original series. It changed their lives for the better. It gave them comfort, laughter, and joy with a moral view that is exceptional. 33 years later, I love each and every one of you. We still the love you too. Melody anyway, Brett is a class act. She absolutely yes, is a class and basically act. what she's saying is, you know, you're allowed like the new show, but just because people prefer the old show doesn't, you, doesn't give you a right to trash them. Right. Just like you don't have a right to trash people who like the new show either just because you like the old one, which is why we always say, I don't like it. Here's our opinion. Do you ever see me go into videos who like the show and trash it and make comments and harass them and tell people to vote it down? Have you ever seen me do that? No, but we had people who uh, actually had a targeted harassment campaign against right. us. But I have not once ever gone and harassed <laughs> anybody who liked it. I have friends, no, I have friends on Twitter who like it, and yeah. we rub each other, but we don't. I don't ever pick on them no, or harass them because I always say you're allowed to like it, you're allowed not to like it, and that's kind of, that's cool. Yeah, you know, we bust on uh, the Last Jedi quite a bit too, but I, you know, I, I do have some friends that did like the movie, and that, that's fine. They're allowed to. You know, it's just one of those things we don't we don't talk about that because it always winds up being some kind of a fight. But, but no, you know, it's just you know you yeah. respect they don't like it. Right. So right. okay, so back to this whole thing with Double Trouble. I have absolutely, everybody's like, well, you're just, you know, whatever, whatever. No, you don't, no, you don't even listen to what I'm saying. I don't care that Double Trouble is a non-binary character. I don't care at all. I have, do you do you, fam? Don't care. What I care about is the character description sounds like an annoying person. 
an annoying person. An elf dragon lizard thing person. So this is the uh, this is the official character description. This was what annoys me. I don't care who voices it. I don't care whatever. This is what, able to magically transform themselves into any person they see, which is kind of cool. Double Trouble has the, the soul of a thespian, spending hours in character study trying to per perfectly mimic their target and always looking for feedback on their performance. Just don't ever give them a negative critique. Yeah, that sums up that sums up a lot about the Shira universe right there. <laughs> But uh, basically, Double Trouble is going to be an annoying character who spends the entire show uh, expecting, you know, positive reinforcement and affirmation. Hater! And, Hater! And, and if you don't give them positive feedback and reinforcement and affirmation, um, you know, that's what. They, they, then they're, how dare you? You can't give negative critiques to this person, <laughs> this lizard thing. You can't do that. So Double Trouble is Tumblr. Basically, you can't say I don't like I don't like Shira. Like Double trouble is Tumblr. Because what happens if you don't like something? And same with the Steven Universe and all that. These people come at you and try to call. They, 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 they think they, by insulting you, they're somehow going to win you to their side. Doesn't work that way. I don't go around trolling their videos, trolling their posts, telling people to downvote them or anything. I just say to them, okay, you know what? You're allowed to like it. That's cool. You do you. I don't like it. Someone tried to argue with me. This is the best one ever. They tried to argue with me on Twitter. And they, I didn't even know them. They just came to me and started harassing me. And they were going on about, you know, I don't know why, you know, it doesn't even matter about, it's always for the children. It's always for the children. Don't you know the show is for the children? No, the show is not for the children. No, I'll argue that. And yeah, they argued me. They're like, well, kids don't even care about gender identity politics. They only want a cool adventure story and comedy. And I'm like, I completely agree with you. That is true. They don't. Then why, but, but, but then why is this show for the children? Because they don't care. Think of the children. I'm tired of this whole excuse. You know what? Like, they was like, like uh, Freddie Prince Jr. did with Star Wars. It's not for you. It's for the Anthony blank blank kids. Yes, because the number one, someone pointed out, the number, I don't remember who it was, but on Twitter, the number one uh, hotspot of Galaxy's Edge is the bar. Yep, pretty much. But it's for the children. Yeah, because. Stop what? using children as a shield. I think I think my my feeling on on Shira is it's yet another example of a a classic IP and name only. And at that point, it's like why don't you just create a new show? Because the show is is very very dissimilar to the original. It, it has you know it's just surface level uh, similarities. It could have been its own show. It almost feels like it was meant to be another show. Like it was meant to be another show. Like it was almost like Noel Stevenson had ideas for another show. They should have let her have her own show. Just let her have her own show. You should you know? just let her have her own show. So now what happens when when you use an existing IP, you get the baggage of the fandom that comes with it. But anymore, Hollywood, all they want to do is just repurpose, repurpose and reboot everything. Have you noticed, though, on the media, there's been a shift. The first three seasons, it was always Noelle Stevenson, She-Ra, Noelle Stevenson, Noelle Stevenson, Noelle Stevenson, Noelle Stevenson. And they're not doing that now. Have you noticed this? That people keep pointing I that out? I actually haven't been paying any attention to well, She-Ra. I'm noticing this now. They're not, stuff up to they're me. not, they are bringing up some, but they're not doing it like Noelle Stevenson, She-Ra, Noelle Stevenson, She-Ra. They aren't doing that now like they yeah, were before. that was kind of, that was kind of weird that was another thing that's weird about this because you hear about you know a lot of showrunners and even contemporary cartoons like uh you know dragon prince and hilda and stuff like that they but don't the show's still the main focus the show's the main focus not, not with she-ra it wasn't no with she-ra it was all noel stevenson's show for noel stevenson by noel stevenson but um, you know, my only problem with double trouble you know people were like oh you just don't like because no that has nothing to do with what 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 the character identifies as i don't really care I just think the character sounds annoying. And I was like, why did they turn Double Trouble into a lizard thing? I'm sorry, but that's, that's what I was like. Why does Double Trouble look like that? They're they're a chameleon. See? Because shapeshifters... Well, I kind of get that. I kind of think that's a cool idea. Um, but... But the eyes need to go why? in different directions, like old Derpy, like Rango. That I mean, I just don't... I, but then they're making this character, like, annoying. Well... I'm sorry, but this person's going to be... They're constantly... You know, looking for affirmation and can't take negative like I critique. Said, it sounds They're like annoying. it sounds like Tumblr. It sounds like Tumblr Tumblr artists. And then if they don't, uh, if they don't get the affirmation they want, then they go the, on the offensive uh, behind right. their keyboards. Because yeah. so, like what you were saying is, yeah. you cannot critique the show because you're if you're if to. you're fair and you have your objective, you're not allowed to. Because if you this has been set up that no matter what you say, unless you 100 percent love every choice that is made, you, there's a name for you. There's you know. Targeted yeah, well, harassment for you. That's it. And the more they push 
You bet you're not you're not accepting us. We're not accepting you. Well, that's you. it. That's the pro that's that's like, what Melanie Britt was trying to say. You can't you can't criticize the show because people are conflating legitimate criticism of a show with hating LGBTQ people. But that's not what you the know? case is. And that's not the, but that's that's what has happened more you know with so much of media now is like if you say hey this character kind of sucked or this 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 person can't write or whatever. And then the immediate go-to is, well, you don't like them because of X, Y, Z thing. It's like, well, no. But how's that's... any different than as soon as someone says this was written by a, a, a straight white guy, then they, oh, I hate it because it's a straight white guy. How is that any different? It's not. I'm just saying, it's the same thing. Intolerance is intolerance no matter what. And I'm sorry if you don't like the fact people don't like the show you like, and you have to, to go to the extremes of harassing people because they don't and calling them names because you like the show that you like, then you are the bully. You are the intolerant person. You are the one harassing people. You are the bad guy. You're the evil horde. I mean, I have Bunch not once- loud teenagers. I have not once gone after anybody who liked the show. No. I have never harassed anyone. I have never gone to their videos and, and downvoted them. I have never, you know, done anything remotely like that. Um, people have talked to me and made comments to me and I, I respond in kind. If you're coming at me being a complete snarky ass hat, I'm gonna be a snarky ass hat right back to you. Um, but I will talk to you and I don't appreciate, uh, you know, bad behavior disguised as, you know, some kind of, as some kind of activism when there wasn't any activism necessary. Uh, I'm sorry. There wasn't. Yeah. Our, our, and this character just looks annoying. Uh, so our criticism of the show 99% of the time has been, has been DreamWorks, uh, has been using the media, using outlets like Polygon and uh, io9 and, and especially sci-fi wire since they own that to attack the old school fans yeah you're and, attacking everybody and then yelling because they don't respect your pronouns we didn't know there was for a fictional character that wasn't <laughs> even human that it mattered <laughs> but two i'm like it matters! You, don't, you, it don't, matters! you don't get to call people names you don't get to bully people you don't get to troll people you don't need to get to call and, and mock people all you want and then get mad because they say, they say something you don't like that makes you feel bad. It doesn't work that way. The real world doesn't work that way. That is that is actually a good point. The real world does not work like Tumblr, and I think a lot of uh, Tumblr uh, fandoms don't don't quite under understand that. Right. Like it might fly on the internet, but you leave your house. You go out and try to pull some of that shit in the real world, and it's not going to work. And just, yeah, and just because someone doesn't like a character design does not mean that they're racist, does not mean that they're sexist, does not mean they're misogynist, does not mean they, mean they hate LGBTQ plus people, because that is not the case here at all. You don't know no. me. If you did, you would know that wasn't the case at all. I just really don't like what they did with Devil Trouble, because they made Devil Trouble like a lizard thing. And I don't like it. I, I would have preferred it to be like more of a, a, a character character. I don't care if the gender was changed. I don't care if they were non-binary. I don't care. I just care that they made, they took double trouble from that to an elf, elf lizard. That's an annoying thespian who, who constantly has to perfect their craft and, and demand reinforcement and, and affirmation at every turn. Yeah. Or they get mad because you can't ever give them negative critiques. Well, that pretty much, I, I think in that 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 case, sums up the whole show. Double Trouble is, is the perfect mascot for this show. I guess it does. I guess it works out. Double Trouble is the perfect mascot for the show because you cannot criticize Double Trouble or you're an awful person. Uh, however, I'm looking at some of the comments. Uh, don't read the comments. Well, if you go out to the Daily Mail and you read the comments, uh, people are, are having, having a fit for the reasons you think they're having a fit. Uh, I don't know how parents are gonna, you know. Take yeah, this, I don't know. But... I just don't think you should you should uh, you know troll the voice actor. No, it's not. No, that has nothing. That has nothing. To and do I do have to give them credit, even though this doesn't do them being an elf. Let me see this down here. You can actually tell they did. You know, you can yeah. you can tell it. The voice actor they took inspiration from, but this person's not an elf. They're not a lizard. Well, they want to be. Well, I think. You know, again, I think they're going for the chameleon angle, uh, which, which I, I have no I, problem with the I chameleon get angle. That when I stop and think about, it, I'm like, oh, okay, I, I get that now. But it, it, it's you know, you look, it's just like you know, any anything, anything you see when they they make a drastic change of characters. And at that point, you're like, why are you even using, you know, the original IP at all? It's like, oh, brand recognition. But then it's like, what's the point of having the brand recognition if you're going to take a steaming shit on the fandom anyway? Right. You know. Uh, so meanwhile, Netflix. Uh, as as Shira is finishing its run, 
okay? And they're just really slamming these episodes out, I think, to yeah. get them off their plate. We never know what the, the, the viewership is. They never tell you no, anything, so you don't know what the numbers are. Uh, meanwhile, they make a big deal at San Diego Comic-Con about uh, He-Man being rebooted mm -hmm. in an anime style and being a sequel, direct sequel to the original animated series. I'm just saying that we're, we're getting mixed messages here about mm -hmm. how Netflix actually feels about this show. Right. I don't know. All I'm saying is, you know what? People are allowed to like it. People are not allowed to, are allowed to not like it. And that is completely fine. What is not okay is harassing people because you don't agree with their opinion. Yeah. I have not harassed anybody for not, you know, agreeing with me about, about what I think about Shira. And I'm stop telling people it's for children because that's a load of shit. No, these and stop telling are people. Kids. Stop telling people it's not for you. It has Shira on it. I'm a huge Shira fan. I actually was a Shira fan from back when it came out. I, I have toys. I, I, I buy stuff. I buy my money goes and buy Shira merchandise. I am a fan. Hence the term Shira is for me. So I can like it or hate it or watch it and if I want to. And that is none of your business. And if you don't like it, I really don't care. But you can go ahead and downvote and, and bitch and moan all you want. Um because it just helps us. So be my guest. Have at it. Because then you, then you can go buy more. Uh, thanks for the money. Thanks classic. for the upvote. Uh, the you know the algorithm boost. Yeah, actually, it helped us uh, tremendously. Thank you for that. So you can go buy yourself more uh, classic Shira dolls. Which I will. Which you will. And actually, Double got... Trouble was one of my recent acquisitions. So there we go. It was one of my favorites. All right, so we're gonna wrap this one up. Yeah, because I don't think there's also much else I can say. Yeah, we have beaten this dead uh, Pegasus. Yeah, <laughs> you know, this Pegasus is beyond dead. Singing, dancing horse is very, very dead at this point. So, uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants here on Clownfish TV. This has been Neon and Geeky. Bye. Goodbye. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.